Find My Friends and Find My iPhone has been combined into one application inside of iOS 13 and is simply called Find My. And in this video, we're gonna go over everything you need to know about the new Find My application. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. Find My is broken down into three tabs, people, devices, and me. The people tab is where you'll find your friends that you've shared your location with. The icons of your friends will be shown inside of the interactive map, or you can see more details by clicking on the name of your friend on the list below the map. Tapping on a person's name in the list provides an option to bring up their contacts card for sending a message or an option to get directions to their location. For any person who's sharing a location with you, you can turn on notifications so that you get notifications when they leave or arrive at a specific location. And there's also an option to notify your friend when you leave or arrive at a specific location. If you wish to share your location with a friend, simply tap share my location at the bottom of your friends list. You can opt to share your own location permanently for an hour or until the end of the day. The next tab is how you will locate all of your devices that are signed into iCloud and have the Find My feature enabled. Just like the People section, all of your devices are displayed on a map and you can zoom in or out to get a better picture of their location. Tapping on a single device provides you with options to get directions to its location inside of Apple Maps, play a sound for locating a nearby lost device, or get a notification when it's found if it's offline. There's an option to mark a device as lost, which locks the device, disables Apple Pay, and allows contact information to be put right on the lock screen. And as a last resort, there's a tool for deleting all of your data. Now, one of the biggest changes inside of iOS 13 is the ability to locate a device without a Wi-Fi or LTE connection. This feature leverages Bluetooth and proximity to other nearby Apple devices. When your lost device is offline, but close to another device, it's able to connect to that other device over Bluetooth and relay its location. That means that your devices are more trackable than ever, and there's a better chance you can find a device that's been lost. You're not going to notice a difference in the Find My app when tracking a device over Bluetooth rather than a cellular or Wi-Fi connection. It simply shows up on the list of devices like any other device that has a standard connection. For this example, the MacBook Pro listed here is actually closed and stowed away inside of a bag, but it's still trackable thanks to this new feature. If you want to know more about how this feature works, our Find My Guide listed in the description down below can offer you more details about how Apple was able to make this feature possible while preserving user privacy. Finally, the Me tab displays your current location and includes toggles for sharing location, allowing friend requests, choosing who to receive location updates from, and naming a specific place. Find My is available across the latest version of iOS, iPadOS, and macOS, and will be officially available this fall. Let us know what you think of the new Find My app and its new features in the comments section down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.